is a really cool display of wildflowers behind me and all kinds of pollinators everywhere. But there's one plant in this mix that I think does not belong there. It's this one right here with these delicate little white flowers and it looks really pretty. And it even has lots of pollinators and some ladybugs on it. Um, and this is called hedge parsley. And as pretty as this hedge parsley may be right now, the main reason, well, two reasons that I don't like it is it actually makes these horrible little burrs. So as soon as the flowers start to mature, they turn into these sticky burrs that will then turn brown and they break off super easily and they get stuck in your clothing and in your pet's fur and in your leg hairs if you have those. And it's also not native to the U.S. And so you can see it's just competing with our native wildflowers here. And it tends to take over because it's really tall and it seeds so easily and it spreads so easily that it can actually outcompete our natives pretty well. Now, a lot of people do confuse this with poison hemlock because the flower looks very similar to a poison hemlock plant. But if we look at the stems, it does not have the red splotching on the stems that poison hemlock does. And the plant itself is quite a lot smaller than poison hemlock is. It usually, usually only gets about two and a half feet tall. And since it's not poison hemlock, you can actually just grab it and pull it out and it pulls up really easily because even though it's quite a tall plant it has a very small root system so in my opinion the best way to treat this is actually the most time consuming but you can just walk through here and pull these up individually and you want to do it before they start to make the burrs because if you can pull them up before they make burrs then well you don't have to get covered in the burrs but also it's not going to be throwing seeds everywhere so you won't have to deal with as many of these next spring also don't get this confused with yarrow or achillea this is our native yarrow here um, and here's the bloom of the hedge parsley and then there's the yarrow it's quite a lot larger bloom and then the yarrow has this kind of feathery looking foliage that's pretty cool and uh, yeah, that's native here and the butterflies love it.